Kamera läuft, Licht ist an, Mikrofon, Test, Test. Ich hoffe, es geht euch gut and no, I won't speak German today in this tutorial. But some of you actually said to me that they miss my German intros, so here you go. And what we're gonna do today is very helpful for your flow on the floor, because I'm gonna show you how you move your legs properly and so that it looks graceful and nice. Just follow me along, I will explain everything step by step. All right. So it is 10.30 at night during the week and this was the quietest tutorial that I could think of because I don't want to wake up my neighbors. So <laughs> if you struggle with that, if it's a late night, then perfect. Let's get into it. Seriously, so stupid. I messed up the audio. I checked everything and I had to unplug it to see, to listen to the video to see if it worked and then I forgot to plug my microphone back in. So I'm so sorry, but the audio quality is not that great in this video, but I can't film it again. Ah, I really hope you don't mind it. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> Make sure that you're warmed up, but it's not gonna be too hard today, but still important to improve your flow and to improve your leg work because I see a lot of mistakes and I just want to fix them, seriously. There are a few things that you need to consider and that you maybe need to change in order to improve your leg work. And those tiny little things, they make a big difference. So let's get into it. Okay, so what we're working on today is this. Easy leg movements, but what I see a lot is this. this of course that's exaggerated but I want to help you with your leg movement so number one what you need to do is small movements so instead of going big and like you're on a bicycle you really need to make the movements smaller so for example with this leg it is straight and then I pull it to me and then push it away and straighten it. And I only bend my leg a little bit, not like this. It's just straight, a little bit bent, straight, bent. And then with the movement, so you go um, back and forth, when you pull the leg closer to you, you bend it slightly and then you push it away and you straighten it like this. And you do the same thing with the other leg, but just opposite. So you bend one leg and then as you bend this leg, the other leg goes back and gets straight and then the opposite. opposite. It actually helps if you use your hands as well, as if you had strings attached to your knees with your hands. You can make those movements bigger and then you can bend the knee a little bit more but you're not doing this, you're not going crazy and it's really important that you slow down your movements so smaller movements and slower I mean you could do it a bit faster but it just doesn't look as graceful bigger movements I still do it slowly as usual, you push into the platform so that you always point your toes. So push into the platform, make sure that your ankles are straight, and then small movements. Okay, next step. If you got this right, then you can also start moving your hips. Like this. So as soon as I bend one knee, that same hip or the same side of the hip pulls, pulls up like this. So I bend this leg and I pull it closer to me and then the other side. Pull, 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 pull. If you are on the ground, it's a little bit harder, but the next step would be to bring your hips up and to use your arms 
as a Stütze. I'm not too sure what the English word for this is, but you're gonna see it somewhere here. So your arms stützen your hips, okay? Support your hips, I don't know. It's light, it's really light. <laughs> okay, so what we do next is this part. Same thing, we just elevate our hips. So, what is important, 90 degree angle. And the way you grab onto your hips, it really depends on what you prefer. So what I usually do is that I swing my legs over my head or this way, and then this way my hips come up like this. You can, in the beginning, um, also um, bend your knees if you prefer that and then slowly get into the movement same thing as if we are on the ground so and with the hand positioning you can use your hands flat place it underneath your hips and do the movements or you can grab more um, at your waist and use the thumbs on the side which I I think I prefer that way but just try what um, works for you and then oh, it's, it actually hurts on my arms because of the carpet the carpet is really rough anyway I need a short break I trained pretty hard today I don't know how many hours I trained on the pole and created videos and it was good fun but I am pretty sore and my lower back is sore too. Yep, I'm getting old so after this video I do need to do a bit of stretching. That definitely helps. All right, legs up, hips up. Okay, now I can feel my arms are right. So I try to adjust them. Okay, so now we mastered this movement. Use your hips. And then usually my movements become even slower. So you sway from one side to the other and you pull the hips to you. One side, other side. As soon as you bend the knee, pull it to you. Yeah. Um, what else is there? So the common mistakes are um, bending the knees too much and riding a bicycle? No. <laughs> Small movements. Only bend a little bit. Same thing for pole walks. Then also point your toes, push into the platform, align your ankles with your legs straight and slow your movements down. And I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.